Hello, it's Marta Rabkowska here. Welcome everyone. Today I would love to talk a little bit about magicals. Uh, those are little jars uh, filled with powder and they are coming from Lindy Stamp Gang. Uh, everyone knows Lindy's uh, for their amazing sprays. Uh, and not everyone may know that they also have those awesome little jars filled with some powders, magical powders. So today I wish to talk a little bit about them and show you how you can use them and what you can do with them. So sit back, relax and I will talk you through uh, each, each uh, technique that you can use uh, magicals in. As you can see here I have some modeling paste and I'm adding a little bit of pigment from each jar. Um, magicals are coming in sets of five but here I have a mix of different colors from different sets so I'm not concentrating on any color particular but I just wish you to see uh, how the magicals look like when you mix them. They are very high in pigment as you can see and what you see inside the jar uh, it's not exact what you get on the paper when it's mixed with modeling paste and that's the magic of magicals. As you can see I'm picking only a tiny amount of powder to mix with my paste and the color is already really strong and high in pigment and this is a great way of creating your very own uh, colored custom made paste uh, and you can mix two colors as well if you wish. Here I'm just testing the colors and showing you uh, what the final result is. Uh, the beauty of, uh, of that product is that you don't need a lot, you can use it in many different ways and you'll be surprised with the final beautiful effect that they give. Also, as you can see, I'm touching a little bit color to color uh, on my stencils, so they blend in really, really pretty and really, really nice together. Um, be sure that when you mix it with your modeling paste, you mix it well, uh, because it's a powder and some of them are uh, having different shades inside, few different shades, so sometimes uh, you may you may see different uh, colors in one paste, which is great, which I love. Uh, that's what I love about them. When you buy your magicals and they're coming in sets of five, uh, they are sets made for you. So you can't go wrong about the color because they will all lovely blend in together and they'll be matching beautiful color combination uh, made for us. As you can see, I was cleaning my spatula on the site, on a spare page, because you can always use it later on. Now let's see uh, the, final, the final look. How pretty is that? I'm working fast because uh, my stencils are still wet, so I'm using upside down and turning it so I can still use some leftovers from the top of the stencil. It's a great way to use uh, all the leftovers uh, and even look at that, how cool is this? Perfect background for your journals. My other idea of using Magicals uh, is going to be showing you how the color and powder run through the stencils in different ways. I'm using here modeling paste through some uh, gorgeous uh, dusty attic stencil, one of my favorite. And as you can see, I'm using quite a lot of modeling paste. I wanted to make sure that the texture is really uh, visible. Mm -hmm. 
I am doing same thing with another stencil from Dusty Attic, creating different textures so you can see the difference in the color. I made sure that my modeling paste is uh, dry and I'm gonna I'm gonna be adding the powders into into the page. Again, uh, the colors I picked, uh, they are random really, um, chosen by me, that I thought that they will work well together. I'm spraying the whole page with, with some water first, and then I'm picking the color with the uh, brush, and you can already see how the color runs. I'm spraying some more water to to make the movement uh, and to see how the color will mix and run. This is a perfect start for your journal page or any mixed media mixed media work. You can see the two different pigment kind of bluish and pinkish in one jar so that's the magic of magicals because uh, the colors are so phenomenal that the final result could be just amazing I'm spraying more water adding more powder so it's a little bit like a play really uh, and having fun with the color and seeing where that will take me page like this it's a perfect uh, background for your card for your ATCs and also before you ask I used normal cardstock it's not watercolor paper although as you can see it's it blends and it's working beautifully I'm drying now uh, all the excess of water because I sprayed quite quite uh, quite a lot of the water here And here is the finished page. Uh, you can also see some shimmer from some of the colors. I absolutely love it and I love how the stencil picked up uh, the colors, uh, which, is, which is what I wanted you to see. Now I'm gonna do another page, uh, but I'm gonna use different colors. So you can see the difference uh, because it's different depending on the color and also on the texture of our background and the texture was created with different stencil. Now I'm picking greens and blues, uh, turquoise, so we see, we see how it's going to be. Again, as you can see, I'm spraying some water on top of my uh, normal cardstock and I'm picking the color uh, with my brush and let the flow uh, to happen, let the magic to happen. I absolutely love this technique. I think it's such a great technique where the magic can happen and the final result is super, super exciting and a big surprise equally for yourself and for me for me now because you cannot really uh, guess uh, how the powder will land and how much water we will add so it's a it's a great uh, exciting exciting technique I'm adding some white, uh, I added some white, but you couldn't really see, the, the camera didn't pick up uh, that it leaves like a little white dots and extra special texture on, on the page.
So here they are, two different pages, finished and dry. Uh, perfect start for your card, your journal, your ATCs, anything you wish. And another usage of uh, Magicals is you can just create your own uh, sprays, basically. All you have to do is add a little bit of powder into the bottle with water, shake it and there you go. You can even experiment, mix two colors, three colors and see it for yourself. It's really simple. Water and powder and that's it. So that was the blue one and now I'm gonna make some pinkish color. Now let's try the sprays. Obviously, as more pigment you add, the darker color you will get. So here is the blue one and here is the, the pink one. I didn't add a lot, uh, but again, you can compare your sprays to the ones that you already have. And you may like the very soft uh, color and uh, very light uh, rather than very dark. Now I'm adding same uh, powder to to the page so you can see you can just mix it and have a really cool effect together next video is very speeded because uh, I didn't want you to get bored but I wanted to show you that you can use your magicals and color metal uh, resin and wood and as you can see I'm literally uh, dipping my brush in a little bit of water and straight dipping into my jar to add pigment straight on my on my uh, piece the best thing afterwards would be to either cover it with gel medium or with some spray fixative uh, so the color wouldn't run and it would just hold on and be protected Now it's time to paint our resin. Uh, again, I'm adding just a little bit of water and uh, picking up the color with my brush straight from, from the jar. You can see how beautifully the colors blend and you can really have fun playing and mixing the colors and seeing the beautiful uh, shades that you may, you may have. And another thing now to paint is the wooden heart. The best thing would be to cover your uh, cover your wood with gesso. It would be easier to blend the color. But I wanted to make a point and show you that you actually can paint straight on some uh, rough surfaces and it will work. As you can see, it will work. You may need a little bit more of brush movement on top, but again, it's working. I'm adding a little bit of water, dipping into my powder to mix the color. You can use gesso beforehand. Uh, you, you can use it straight on, on the surface. It's really up to, up to yourself. I just wanted to show you how, uh, how magicals are high in pigment and that you can really, really use them in, in so many ways. And they are really cute little, little arty jars uh, that you can have fun with.
If you will be thinking of uh, getting magic cards for yourself, there is no really better or worse uh, set. As in, I wouldn't tell you and recommend any particular set. I do love them all, they all different, and it's really a personal choice which set would be good for you. Now I wish to show you how you can color your flowers. I pick up some cream flower and sprayed it with water, quite a lot of water I have to say. And then again I'm adding more water, dipping my tiny brush in the powder and gently gently touching the petals uh, now in, inside and the water when you will spray it, it will move the color and it will make it run beautifully. As you can see I was adding a little bit of powder on the ends of petals and then the water that I sprayed moved the color and the color appeared on our flowers. Here is another example, uh, I used the same technique but I will concentrate on the outside more than the inside. I am gently painting the sides of the flower only and spraying the pigment with the water. Lastly, as you can see, we have some pigment left on the table and it would be a shame not to use it. So I'm picking up the color on my paper scraps. Uh, I added some water so I would get more use from it. Later on you will see sneak peeks of card and a tag that I have done uh, with those scraps and the other pages. You, can see, you will see how I used, uh, used those. And it's a perfect way of creating your mixed media background. How stunning uh, is this? And each of the paper scrap is different. Each background is different. Uh, later in the month, I will be adding the videos uh, where I will be using those uh, those papers, and you will see the the step by step projects with it. So guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, technique uh, video. Uh, I'm sure there's more to come your way. And you can see the sneak peek now of a card. Uh, and here is another sneak peek of a tag that I did. Those videos will be coming your way later on in the month. I hope you will share that video with your friends and let them know about magic of magicals. Thank you so much for your time, for all your comments and support. Uh, I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye bye! My other idea of 